Members of a diet appointed panel have spent months going over what went wrong before, during, and after an earthquake and tsunami hit Fukushima Daiichi. Their main conclusion the crisis at the nuclear plant was man made. That crisis started on March 11, 2011, and continues to this day. Panel Chair Kiyoshi Kurokawa handed the report to the Speaker of the Diet's lower house and the President of the upper house. He and his fellow experts met 20 times since last December. The report analyzes the underlying causes of the accident. It says that both the government and Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, missed opportunities to develop basic safety requirements and ignored warnings about the possible impact of tsunami. The panel says a tsunami should not be considered as the only factor, and the impact of the earthquake on the facility should also be taken into account. TEPCO blamed only the tsunami in its investigation. The report emphasizes that TEPCO failed to give staff at Fukushima Daiichi enough training to take proper countermeasures in the event of a disaster. The panel also notes that the role of TEPCO and the government had not been clearly defined should a serious accident occur. It says this led to the failure to contain the situation. The report also looks at Japan's nuclear power industry. It strongly condemns TEPCO for using its dominant position to loosen regulations. It also criticizes the utility for refusing to disclose information even after the disaster. The panel says workers at Japan's nuclear regulatory agencies were no better. It evaluates their level of expertise as poor. It says the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency and the Nuclear Safety Commission didn't maintain independence from pro-nuclear government bodies and didn't prioritize public safety. Panel Chair Kiyoshi Kurokawa emphasized the key points the panel members concluded in the final report. I think it's really have to have sharing the value of this process and this recommendation to a greater public in Japan, but also to the world, because that is the reason we made this committee meeting, official committee meeting, in addition to many inquiry and interviews and fact-finding, uh, sort of examination of any papers and documents. But our, our committee meeting has been open and on the web mm -hmm. and, and also with simultaneous translation in English. in English. And you can see that. And here you may see how the leaders of that time, we invited many people, about 38, how they respond to our dialogue in the open session. This, I think perhaps this is the lesson to be learned. And we like to share this with the world and also just ask world expertise and opinion into our society so that we could really contribute by learning a lesson and sharing this lesson with the rest of the world. Meanwhile, government, of, government officials rather in charge of containing the disaster are taking issue with the report's findings. Japan's minister in charge of the nuclear crisis, Goshi Hosono, says the government did not interfere with the emergency response work at Fukushima Daiichi. My understanding is that the urgency of the situation sometimes forced us to contact the engineers because the cabinet had trouble accessing information about the kind of support they needed on the ground. Hosono also said he believes the lack of a clear division between the roles of the government and TEPCO added to the confusion in the wake of the accident.